back to my channel and on today's vlog I am going to talk to you about how to run a holiday let business so without further ado let's get started so first thing first is you need to have a property that is empty and no one living in there in my case in our case we have a granny annex and we converted it to a holiday let house business so that's all you need to do you need to have a space or a house that is um, self-contained and it's like your home everything is in there it's self-contained now secondly once you are all ready and well e equipped you need to contact a agency a, hel a, a holiday let agency so you can advertise your property online magazine and anywhere else in our case we did use the packages for you and the third one make sure that all of your things in the house is functional that is very also um, that is also important that everything is functional washing machine dishwasher uh, dishwasher if you have but i don't have i, I didn't provide dishwasher um cooker so you need to provide everything and number four tips make sure that you have a lot of set of beddings because it is vital so you won't get caught with washing so you need to have loads of those so you can change over quickly and number four you need to have a contact to a cleaner if you can't do the cleaning yourself you need to find a cleaner to clean your to clean the property so it's always ready for someone to come in my in in our case i do the cleaning in the house in the property and also my husband is a builder if there's something something is broken in the house he does all the main the maintenance and number five always do the change over as long as the guest has left because you'll never know you can get a, a short notice call and it's um, not good if you refuse that um, call that someone is coming to your house and then the income is gone so you need to make sure that the house is always ready for someone to come and number six always make sure as well that the house and everything is always clean it is very important that the house is always clean because guests like a clean house and tidy a pleasant house to live because they are on holiday and they want to relax and it's nice to come in when the house is tidy and clean um, I always get a very good um, comments on how clean my property is because I do make sure that I do clean it properly for them um, so I won't get any bad comments about the cleanliness number seven always um, know the policy of the company that you are in on the holiday let agency that you are in because you can get caught with bookings and you get fined like if you're away on holiday and no one is here and somebody has booked and you didn't know then you need to pay that money back to the customers and then you're out of pocket so you need to know all the policy um, that the agency has given you number eight always give a welcome pack to the guest this is only optional it's up to you as the owner of the property if you want to give them a welcome pack like milk bread biscuits or wine drinks or whatever you wanna give them in my in our case i 
provide um, soap and shampoo and also milk um, sometimes um, biscuits and wine or cider as I live in Somerset so I provide those welcome welcome pack for the guest when they arrive so this is only optional it's up to you it's not um, compulsory and number nine of course be friendly and polite and of course number 10 is always give them your calling card so when they think to come back again they know where to contact you and yes always give it your calling card to any guest you can get because you'll never know you have them back and in our case I did made a calling card for our guests I put our details there and the company that we are in so they can book it themselves yes that's the 10 tips that I can give you how to run a holiday led business and also I will sh show you around the prop the house um, so you have an idea um, how uh, how I do set my house up so this is our lounge this is the lounge and what we have here is a television and maps and playthings DVDs for them to watch when they stay we have this foot photon put in because um, we advertise our property for three people so they can um, so we can have three people in the house and this is the kitchen of course I have somebody coming in today so I provided that cider there and milk and biscuits in in the fridge so this is the kitchen got my tripod there lying around so this one here is a staircase because my storage for bedding soap towels is up there that shut up when it when it's all ready so that umbrella there of course i use that to um, get the ladder down that will be done later <laughs> so let's go in the bedroom okay so this is the bedroom um, our bed is um, set on single bed at the moment as I told you we accept three people to sleep in the house so um, we can also zip the bed if we have couple coming in or coming to stay then we zip it up for to make it into double so um, today I have a guest coming who is staying for seven nights and it's only one person so the, may, the bed is made up with these settings. So I have a little wash area there for them to use. We also provide um, cupboards for to put their clothes in it's also important I have a baby bed for for the baby of course you need to provide these things and let's go in the bathroom so this is the bathroom this is our bathroom There. and um, okay. 
yes so this is my our holiday let that's my stool there because I'm I am a very short woman so I need a stool so I just tap it in there and I go so as you can see the kitchen has fridge microwave cooker table everything plates mugs and whatnot yeah it's all complete um, cooking utensils knives and fork cooking things dishes and those things cling film them not and, and I and I also make sure that I always provide clean um, dish cloth and um, dish sponge for them to wash their dishes that's I'm always make sure of that because um, it's just for hygiene reasons so um, I always do that um, I know it's a bit costly but I'm just a bit fussy <laughs> So that's it guys that's um that's the information I can provide you so I hope um, it did help you to think what how do how to run the holiday let business and it's a really good um, source of income and we we've been doing this for about six years now and um, we have repeats guests and and yes um, but it's a hard work of course it's a lot of hard work but then you know everything is hard work so um, we're just lucky that uh, we can do this kind of business to pay the bills and yes thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe cheers bye